Hi, my name is Amira. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be trying something a bit different. So this video is going to be filmed over a couple days just because I want to see how these self-tanning waters go. So Mecca kindly gave me these Isle of Paradise um, self-tanning waters and the self-tanning drops. And yeah, I just want to see because I'm like a moose girl. But I thought I want to give these a go because I'm going to the tennis tomorrow. So I want to feel like, you know, a bit tanned because it's hot at the moment and everyone's wearing like, you know, little clothes and stuff. Like, you know, little dresses, little shorts and stuff. And yeah, I don't want to feel like too pasty, even though for me this is like tan. But I'm used to being fake tanned. Anyway, long introduction. Before we jump in, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, uh, let me know down below, prediction, go now. Do you think these are gonna work well? Who knows, who knows? Okay, so we have these from Isle of Paradise. So this is a spray, so it's just like a little spray bottle and just sprays out. Smells quite nice actually. So it is medium, so I'm guessing maybe there's like a light, medium, dark or something, but this is the medium one. It's vegan friendly, cruelty free and organic. And then we have the little tanning drops. They can be really good because generally fake tan fades quickly or even if you like to go get a real tan outside, a lot of people still put stronger SPF, a hat, sunscreen on because we don't want to get wrinkles and sun damage, especially on our faces. I think the first thing I can do right now is is go have a shower, have a light exfoliation, take off my makeup and stuff, and then I'll come back and put these on and see how they go, how they feel, and then we can check in, I guess, tomorrow to see if they've worked. Okay, so this is the only matching bikini that I could find. I have like four bikini bottoms and no bikini tops. I have no idea where they've all gone. I'm just gonna take a random sticker. This is like one of the, don't judge me too much, the like revolution, you know, the things that you put in your diary so you, you know like if you've given your dog their fleeing and worming stuff. So I'm just going to pop it here just because I have like random tan lines at the moment because I've gone between bikinis like this and ones that are like, you know, a bit skinnier. These obviously are like blinged up. I've gone ones that are like this across. Um, so my tan lines are kind of like a bit funny. So I want to be able to use like a single spot to really be able to see, you know, how it worked. So the instructions say exfoliate 24 hours before tanning. I did exfoliate this morning as well and moisturize dry areas, blah, 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 prior to application. We're gonna moisturize the dry areas, so it's just normal dry areas, I think. So this is the Tribe Fruit Tingle Body Moisturizer. This stuff smells so good. If you want to smell like me, which is delicious, like fruit tingles, pick this up. Use my code Amir10, it helps me out as well. Don't forget your knees. Um, and then maybe like a little bit around feet. Feet can usually go a bit funny too. Mist until skin is totally saturated, covering face, hands, and feet last. Before blending with a tanning mitt using sweeping motions, thoroughly wash palms after use. Your tan will develop in four to six hours. So in the meantime, eat some ice cream, watch a movie, call a girlfriend. Just don't get the tan wet while it develops. Easy do's and don'ts. Carry a patch test. Whoops, I didn't do that. And do not apply to broken or irritated or sensitive skin. All right, let's give this a go. Oh, it smells good. I don't know if I should spray it directly on my face. It feels weird to spray completely and then rub in, but you know what? Let's just follow the instructions. It's hard because my hands are like, you know, moist <laughs> from the um, lotion. So it's like slipping about. This is the same thing that happens when I put on my like tanning um, or my sunscreen oil. <laughs> Uh, I guess let's just keep going. You can see my back is more tan naturally as well. So, all right, let's just go in with the mitt. This is one that's nice and clean. Gosh, it's like dripping. Oh, and that sticker just came off. <laughs> all right, let's put the sticker on the other side and I'm gonna be a bit more careful when I go over it this time. 
The hard thing about it being clear means that you can't see where it is, but it does, it seems to spread quite easily, which is good because sometimes mousse, you know, when you start rubbing it in, you can see like it's already started drying and it's hard to get it even. Whereas at least this feels like it is going over really evenly. So far that feels like it's going on really nice and evenly. I'm going to take this off now and finish doing it properly because these just get in the way. I don't know how people tan with these on camera. So while that dries, I'm going to pop some on my face and I wanted to use the spray but I guess we can see how the spray turns out on the body and we'll use the drops on our face. So I've already got just a bit of my eye cream on and my face serum. So the way I use like the other face drops um, that I have in the past has just been, oh my goodness, my hands have so much moisturizer on them at the moment, is if we just take, I don't want to put too many on because I don't know how dark it's going to turn out on my body. So I'm just going to put like one, two drops and then like rub the rest just on my forehead and stuff. Then I have my Tribe Hydrate Me Night Moisturizer. I'm just going to put one pump each side. Then I have a big makeup brush, which is like crappy you know it's like breaking so this means that you don't get the tan on your palms um, because that just screams fake tan so it is currently 8 p.m. I'm gonna go wash my hands get dressed and just chill out and I'll show you how it is looking in the morning because it'll probably start getting a bit dark and you won't be able to see so I'll check in with you guys in the morning so can I see here the little square patch I had um, helps you kind of gauge how the tan is because I have my actual like, you know, bikini tan lines like here. So I'm going to input some vlog footage from yesterday at the tennis and you can see the golden glow. It's so, so beautiful. It looks really, really natural. I did mess up in just a few places, but it's not super obvious. Like you can probably barely see it. Like, yeah. Just like kind of the back of my arm but yeah you can't really see it um so yeah it's very subtle you just have to be super super careful because it is obviously a clear water so it's hard to make sure you don't miss any spots if it's rubbed in properly but yeah now the only thing is how long it takes to go patchy so i guess we'll see how many days i get before it starts looking gross because it's a medium tan i'm not too sure how if it looks this dark because I already was like doing a bit of tanning out in the sun so I have a bit more colour, maybe it wouldn't normally be quite this dark because it feels pretty decent at this colour. Um, but yeah, anyway, anyway. So we're a couple days in, it's still looking really, really good. I saw my mum yesterday and she's like, ooh, <laughs> lovely, ooh. My mum said, oh Mia, the tanning outside's really paying off, like you're starting to get a bit of colour. I said, no. This is fake. <laughs> so, I don't know, I think that kind of shows like how... <laughs> Look at this one. Hey, you howling at me? <laughs> oh my god, I just got home, that's why she's like, um, attention mom, attention, attention mom. So yeah, my mom thought it looked really natural, like she thought it was an actual tan, so I think that like says a lot about it. I think this color is actually probably the most natural looking color I've had um, Generally with fake tan, it's quite red the first few days And I think that's from the bronzer that they put in it and then after that it starts to go quite yellow and it doesn't look that bad um, at least in real life occasionally it will look really yellow on camera um, but yeah, like this color is looking really just Really, really natural, I think. So it is currently Saturday, so that's about a week. And yesterday, if you looked really closely, you could notice it very subtly, just starting to fade and go a little bit patchy in some spots. Today, it's a little bit more obvious, but also having said that, the last couple of days I haven't been moisturizing because I've been lazy. So um, it's probably to do with that. I don't know if you can see today it is starting to go a little bit more patchy now. Um, from a distance you still definitely can't tell. I did redo my face a couple days ago with the drops and 
it was perfect. It looks so natural. Um, but yeah, I think probably tomorrow I'll start scrubbing it off because it's just starting to get a little bit patchy and I want to be able to do, you know, a nice fresh tan um but yeah i just thought i would show you how it's looking it's still so good it's like fading really naturally and the color is probably as i said one of the most natural tan colors i've ever had but yeah i hope you enjoyed coming along with me for the week while we tested out this tanning water i thought it'd be a bit more interesting than just sitting down and talking and doing a review we can actually see together how it goes so that you guys can also make up your mind for yourself um so yeah i like to try and you know uh, not be too biased so when i can you know show you guys as well so you can also come to your own conclusion that's always good um, but yeah, let me know what you thought down below. If you have any, um, you know, video requests that you want to see me do, please comment them down below as well. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.